Elon Musk's comments towards Rivian and Lucid this week are raising questions about what's actually behind this mini-aggression towards his rivals, since it's hard to imagine that even Elon himself believes that what he said was actually true. The host of State of Charge YouTube channel, Tom Malogny, will be here to help me sort through some fact-checking, and we're gonna start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric. If you are interested in everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. Elon Musk gave a long interview to a group of fans organized by the Tesla owners of Silicon Valley official fan club, including the friend of our channel, Eli Burton, who is scheduled to come on here and talk about some of the behind the scenes insights and about the interview itself. So stay tuned for that. But today we're going to focus on just nine seconds out of that part two of the interview published this week. And here they are. You know, unless something changes significantly with Rivian and Lucid, they will both go bankrupt. They're tracking to bankruptcy. Now, if you watch my channel regularly, you know I am the last guy to defend Lucid or Rivian these days, but uh, this is BS, Elon, and you are smart enough to know it. So, what's behind this? Uh, let's do some fact-checking, but before I'll tell you why what Elon said was bluntly wrong, let's get some context. In case if you didn't watch the interview, the conversation wasn't at all about either Rivian or Lucid. Elon actually went out of his way to single them out. Of course, you're probably thinking, uh, it's kind of weird that anybody would pick those two rather than actually struggling EV startups like Faraday Future, Canoe, or Fisker. But if you look into some facts behind it, it's really not that hard to figure out. The reason he picked those two is the same reason why girls talk smack when another girl walks into the room with a dress just a bit shorter than theirs and they catch their boyfriends looking. Oh my god, Brittany, look at her. Who does she think she is walking in here with her short DC fast charging rates and her huge... EPA range numbers, those are probably fake. All right, let me sort out this high school drama for you. You see, Lucid is headed by a former chief engineer at Tesla, Peter Rollison, who was credited with saving Model S production launch, who then joined Lucid and brought it to production outshining Tesla in two crucial EV categories, the best EV range and the fastest charging. But the only person who refused to credit Peter with that was Elon, who claimed that Peter was never a chief engineer, despite Tesla crediting him for exactly that in this press release that is still up on Tesla's website and crediting him with an even bigger title of the vice president of vehicle engineering in this video, which is also still on Tesla's YouTube channel. No, Claire, we were never friends in summer camp. <sighs> okay, but what about Rivian? I mean, besides beating Tesla to market with a pickup truck. Well, setting the lawsuit claiming that Rivian was stealing Tesla's trade secrets aside, because who hasn't gotten sued by Tesla at this point, this one comes down to the fact that Rivian's biggest shareholder is Amazon, and Amazon's biggest shareholder is Jeff Bezos. And Elon Musk does not like another billionaire wearing the same purse to the same party. I mean, launching space rockets and riding around in electric cars. But nevertheless, can Rivian really go bankrupt like Elon suggested? I'll tell you which side is supported by, um, uh, what do you call those? Um, hard to find, nobody cares about them anymore. Oh yeah, facts. Uh, but before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Electrify America, the largest public fast charging network in the US that provides the freedom for all EV drivers to go where they need to go, including coast to coast. Electrify America has ultra fast chargers at speeds of up to 350 kilowatts for capable vehicles. Download their app to find hundreds of locations and sign up for their Pass Plus membership for discounted charging sessions. Get started using the link in the description of this video. So, can Rivian go bankrupt anytime soon? Well, to answer that question, we don't really need Elon Musk. We just need some common sense and a calculator. And even better, if it's built into your watch. 
First, let's remember that when Tesla has started making their first mass production vehicle, the Model S, they were in a much tougher situation financially, where Rivian is in an excellent financial situation at this point. Now, don't get me wrong, despite having a great product, Rivian's management, whether it's sales, manufacturing, or PR, has been a disaster this year. I actually have an exclusive story about Rivian that's coming out this week that's probably not gonna make things better, but Rivian has a very much functioning factory, a product that's being delivered to eager customers, and yet it's still sitting on a huge pile of cash of more than $16 billion. They can still continue spending money and be just fine for a very long time, even if they choose to waste it on, I don't know, something crazy like investing into Bitcoin. Also, don't forget, the revenues will only go up as more and more vehicles are being made and sold. And then there is, of course, plenty of opportunities to raise money through stock, which Tesla has done more than once. But if you ask me, Rivian's biggest anti-bankruptcy guarantee is the daddy Bezos. Not only Amazon is heavily invested into Rivian, it also is counting on Rivian to produce up to 100,000 electric delivery vehicles for its fleet, which will translate into billions of revenues for Rivian. And lastly, and may just be most importantly, Jeff Bezos is not going to concede to Elon Musk. Unlike a wife, it is much harder to find a prettier and younger electric car company to be seen with. So I'm sorry, Elon, not only you are mathematically wrong, but it is a sure way to lose to a competition when you fail to respect it. For more, we turn to the host of the State of Charge YouTube channel and a man who would absolutely respect the competition if he had any, Tom Malogny. All right, Tom, so let me ask you the same question, even though Elon wasn't really asked, but do you think that Rivian can possibly go bankrupt in the foreseeable future? So I, I think it's possible. I mean, it's possible for all startups, but you know, going into bankruptcy doesn't mean the end of the company. Chrysler, uh, GM went bankrupt and they just kind of reorganized. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen, but if you wanna ask me, is it possible? I suppose it is. I know they have a lot of cash on hand, but uh, I'm not gonna say it's not possible. I mean, I how? Like, I mean, they've been spending more money than ever per quarter. And even at that pace, they would still have a few years just with the cash that they have, plus the daddy Bezos and stuff like that. Just, I don't understand the math there. Well, a lot of things can happen. The, what if there's a massive recall, all their motors fail on the, uh, on the cars, they have to do a stop sale and recall all the vehicles and then re-engineer a new motor. And like, th there's things that can happen that would be absolutely catastrophic. Now, I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but you know, if you wanna say, is it possible? Uh, I think it's, it's possible. I certainly think it's unlikely, but uh, it's, it's possible. They're not on a uh, very sure footing just yet. No, none of the startups are. I didn't believe Tesla was out of the woods until they were in business nearly 10 years. So Rivian's just starting and yeah, it's a possibility. All right. I mean, the factory can burn down, I guess. But all right. But listen, what is the motivation behind saying this for Elon? I mean, they're obviously is not the biggest fan of you know, the brand or Bezos, the guy who partially owns it. What's behind it? You know, I don't know if it's Elon talking smack. Is it Elon just um, shooting from the hip? And maybe he went into that interview not really thinking he was going to say that and it just came out. I mean, that's a, it's a possibility. Um, but, you know, it's not it doesn't seem to be good taste when CEOs from any company talk about other companies and say, oh, yeah, they're going to go under or whatever. Um, you know, focus on what you're doing. I don't think it's necessary to really talk about um, other companies in that light. But, you know, you can say whatever you want to and people will digest it in the way that they find it acceptable. Now, obviously, people who interviewed him are Tesla fans, right? So they weren't going to challenge him much on really anything. But people do challenge now, Elon, all the time. As a matter of fact, would you agree that in the last several years, and especially in the last year, Elon's reputation went from the innovator and a genius 
to, you know, a billionaire who does and says a lot of silly and mean things? Yeah, I think, you know, um, that that's not an unfair statement to make, Alex, that, you know, the more successful Elon is, the more he's willing to put his true feelings out there. Maybe early on with Tesla, when they were on the brink of bankruptcy and when Tesla was, you know, living day by day, he, he you know, pulled, he held some of the things in that he maybe wanted to say. But now that the company seems to be humming along, selling as many cars as they can, he's making tons of money. He was the richest man in the world. At least he was. I don't know if he is anymore. I don't really follow that that closely. You can kind of feel comfortable with saying whatever you want to, even if it's, not really the best thing for your own brand or for the company. When you're the richest person in the world, you tend to not care about those things as much. I'm not saying it's good, but uh, yeah, he he says some things that has me scratching my head uh, quite often. Now, at what point does he lose the reputation of, uh, we got to listen to this guy, right? Because, you know, for a while, everybody said, hey, Elon says this, so that must be true. And it has been. But now it's more like, well, that crazy billionaire, whatever. At one point, is there a point of no return where whatever he says, no one takes seriously because of so many either untrue or silly uh, or uneducated statements that he's made so recently? Well, I think it's already happened. You know, everybody is going to view Elon in a different light. I, I tend to think there's like three groups of people. There's like the musketeers who, you know, he could do no wrong. He is the savior. You know, if Elon said it, it's etched in stone. And, you know, it's true. No matter what he says, he can say, you know, it's raining out when it's nice and sunny and they'd believe him. Uh, and then there's maybe a group of people that, um, you know, believe in him firmly and think that he's extru a brilliant man and an innovator, uh, but that also kind of have one eyebrow up a little bit, you know, uh, keeping an eye on what he says and maybe vetting some of the statements. And then there's, you know, a small group of people that can't stand the man and think he's a, a fraud and a liar. I, I don't, I don't know if there's, I don't, I don't believe that to be true, but um, you know, there's a group of people. So, you know, uh, you know, for you to say at what point it's already happened. And uh, you know, I think the percentage of people, the more he says things that maybe aren't becoming of a CEO or, um, that are out on the fringes. I think he it's eroding from the people that are in his camp and tend to believe whatever he says. And more and more people are saying, well, you know, he's still a brilliant man, but I'm going to kind of fact check on some of the things he says because some of the things he's been saying recently maybe aren't exactly aligned with reality. For more wisdom from Tom that absolutely is aligned with reality, subscribe to his channel. I put a link to it in the description of this video. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged. Take it